training um i'm already dressed we don't have to wear scrubs so i got on a target top and some target black leggings and i just got on a cute jean jacket with it i might pair it with some jays <clears throat> or just throw on some um crocs again them pink crocs because yeah but it is day two i know i really didn't vlog day one because it was a lot going on. I was running behind. But it's 7.58 a.m. right now. I got to be there at 8.30. And I still got to stop by Starbucks, y'all. But I just want to come on here and say that this is a stepping stone for my career. And you just got to do what you got to do. Because I don't hear so many people in Atlanta say like, oh, being a CNA is not good. Um... You ain't nothing. Like, they tried to down... Like, I don't see nurses try to down CNAs. But at the end of the day, the hospitals, the hospice, the um, assistant living care, nothing could run without a CNA. Nothing could run without us. One. Nothing. Two. Nothing. Typically, CNAs, we report to our RNs or LPNs. And then the RN, LPN reports to the doctor. So, like, we still are the eyes, ears, and nose for the RNs like we see the patients more than them you know we see them in different settings than them but I'm thankful to be where I'm at like I'm like because if you know nursing school y'all it was a lot for me to sit up there because I pay out of pocket for school so it was a lot for me to sit up there and try to stack all that money when society society life ain't Life, life in right now, and I'm pretty sure it is for everybody, but she, I was like, uh-uh, baby, I'm going to have to go another route, because me paying out of pocket for that, I'm going to be dead broke, dead broke, like, I would have been broke, like, if I would have gotten into it with somebody, they called me broke, y'all, all I could do is put my head down, because she, she ain't lying, so I was like, uh-uh. I can't be dead broke because uh, you never know what happened. You got to have some emergency money. You know what I'm saying? You got to have some food money, a little shopping money, business money. Come on. So I wasn't going to be dead broke, but today's a new day. And I haven't moisturized my face yet, y'all. My little Vaseline in the car because I need to be in the car right now doing that. But I'm going to ride out. I'm going to do my prayers. So, dear Lord, thank you for waking up. Ugh. Dear Lord, thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord. Thank you for all the blessings and lessons you have coming our way, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to change from who we was to who we are today. Thank you for allowing my subscribers, my supporters, my friends, my family, um, ex-lovers, um, ex-friends, um, my brother, my sister, cousins, ex-cousins. You know, thank you for allowing us to become the person you need us to become. No matter what we're going through on this earth, no matter what we're going through mentally, physically, emotionally, Lord, with you, we know you will handle it. We know we have to come to you to balance everything out in this life, Lord. And I'm so thankful for everybody who came in my life and who came out. Um, I wish everybody and anybody nothing but the best. No, no matter what battles they're fighting on in their life, Lord, I hope that you keep them high. I hope they know they can come to you and talk to you about it and you will handle it, Lord. And that they just don't lose focus and sight in this world because it's a lot of distractions. It's a lot of, oh, comparing yourself to others. And at the end of the day, we all on our own path and journey on your timing, on the timing that you see fits best for us, Lord. And I'm just so thankful at this time that I'm now in a CNA program. I already have a CNA job. Um, I'm just so blessed because all this is for Exotic Me Inc., my business. And, you know, I will be a cosmetic nurse one day. I will have my plaza building one day. I will own a warehouse one day. I will own a storefront for other lash artists or other beauty industry individuals to come shop with the products they need lord and to get the best training that i can possibly give them with all the certifications that i have and all the licenses that i have 
Um, I'm so grateful. Um, please watch over my mom, dad, and grandma today. And grandma's in the house for now. Please allow her to go up down them steps this morning so she can get her little one-two exercise in. Um, please watch over my mom at work and please allow her to have a good day at work and not them children get on her nerves today. And um, and please, because it's, finna, it's almost finna get fall. Um, please don't let them kids be all sick and snotty noses and bringing it back to our house, Lord. And yes, please allow my dad to have a good day at work. Please don't let them people stress him out at their warehouse. And let's just have a great, beautiful week. It's August. It's a new day. It's a new week. What happened yesterday is yesterday. Today's a fresh start. Um, and I'm so thankful. Thank you, Lord. I love you. We love you. And let's get it. And so in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I'm gonna put on a little more because I, you know, just a little more, just a little more. Yeah, I'm gonna, girl, I need to go. Just wait one more on this side because I'm gonna hold up. Can't be on here a little bit. Because y'all ain't got no lashes on. And I'm back to looking like a kid, but it's like my skin clear. So, like, that's what I don't like. When I don't have lashes on, my skin be clear and I feel like you can see right through me. But then when I have like a little pimple or something, it even it out or something. But, alright y'all, so I'm going to catch y'all in the car. I definitely got to <laughs> get up out of here. Got to get up out of here so I can make it to Starbucks and peace. Mm -hmm. Good morning, my favorites. It's your fave India, F A B B, period E N D I A. If you seeing this, we are on day three. Okay, day three of CNA training. Um, yesterday, I don't think I put myself on the camera a lot because it's a lot going on. But yesterday, we did start clinicals on how to make, I mean, how to change the sheets of and occupy our bed. Um, we learned how to, I already knew how to wash our hand, my hands though, because I already know I did go to esthetician school. I'm already slick in the field of, you know, learning sanitation and precautions to prevent the spread of cross-contamination or at least reduce it because eventually stuff get cross-contaminated, you feel me? It's, it's germs, pathogens in the air anyway, so, but that's what we learned yesterday. Today, I will be late. It's 8.37. Y'all know we're supposed to be at school at 8.30, but your girl have a Zoltz's appointment so that's where i'm about to head to i'm supposed to be there at night it's 8 37 but it's literally down the street from my house and then the program is like 20 minutes away but that's not including traffic and if you're from Atlanta, you know i don't even want to tell you what it's going to be with the traffic but we have a doctor's appointment today um, I think today I'm going in, I'm, I think today I'm supposed to be getting my depo shot, but I'm, I'm getting off birth control, so there's no need for that depo shot. I'm probably going to get my blood drawn and a checkup, and that's, and figure out when, um, my next pap smear so I can mentally brace for that, because my first one, nobody told me that's how it go. Okay, yeah, yeah they, they played it down, but when it was my time around, you feel me? But it was my time around, she's talking about let me go get the extra small clam. Yeah, 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 because you know, you're trying to rip my little coochie apart. Shoot, girl. We ain't, no, we ain't getting busted open over here. So, celibacy. Absence is around this way, ma'am. But, yeah, I need to see when that, I think we're supposed to get that every year, every two years. Girl, I don't even know. But I need to make sure it's in that calendar on my phone. Cause yeah, but yeah, I think that's all that's gonna go on today. Um, so I'm getting off birth control because I've been on it too long. 
And plus, I just want to know my body because I don't have a, a cycle. I don't have them. Like, I'll spot, but I don't think I even spot every year. It's just like, shoot, with birth control, baby, it, 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 when it, when it want to do, it do. That's all. But it looks like I'm trying to get eczema on my face. Come on, man. I done been without eczema for how long? Are you trying to spin the block? Maybe my face is dry because I did wash my face. I ain't moisturize it. But that's the to-do list. Um, we got a, a big exam today. We um we had exams every day. So today is Wednesday. We had one yesterday. I mean, yep, yesterday, which was Tuesday, and we had one the day before yesterday, which was Monday. Um now let me tell you about them tests. Cause they are state regulated tests. Girl, them test is trash. I'm sorry. I, I if, if if one of somebody a board member watch this, please know your test needs to go more in depth. Like some of them questions, it could like some of the two answer choices could go for the question because they didn't specify the question. That's my issue. Like it just like some nurses made the exam. Good. We know they went to school. We know they brilliance. But the way they worded them questions on that test, even the nurse who the instructor that's teaching is like, yeah, this could really mean two ways. They like they just ooh. And we ain't gonna get too much in that. But y'all, I did have breakfast this morning. Grounds cooked us. Oh my camera. Okay. Grounds cooked us cheese eggs and grits this morning, and I had some juice to go with it. So now I got some brush my teeth. Cause it's definitely grits in my braces. Grits in my braces. Grits in my braces. Don't you start that bullshit. I forgot if I'm gonna wear the black jean jacket. I think this one I'm gonna wear. It'd be a little cold in here. But y'all, like, this feels so weird to me because like I'm so used to working for myself. Now it's like, girl, you could be working for somebody. Like I'm over here packing lunch and snacks. Like usually I go on my own time. Like, okay, I'm ready. Eat. I'm ready. I'm gonna go get go to the store get a snack. It's so weird. Like I don't know. It's weird to me. But let me brush my teeth. And yes, I use that crisp, baby. future ones, you know, a little excitement. So um, it will also list out procedures and steps for those procedures. So fun, like it's like When they're having this, it doesn't matter that it's Ekezia. It doesn't matter. Good morning, y'all. It is day four of school. I'm on my way. Um, I'm a little behind because I ended up getting up making oatmeal. I got up a little late. Like, I'm gonna get there on the dot. <clears throat> Literally. But I'm not gonna get there on the dot because I'm gonna stop by McDonald's. <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out if I wanna get me an oatmeal. Cause I made oatmeal, but it's nasty. It's the brand I don't like. Like, I don't know who the hell. But y'all know my mom worked for a school, so you know sometimes they be giving out little um, food boxes to the teachers or whatever. And my mom brought one home. That brand of oatmeal is nasty. Like, the hell? I would prefer not to eat because that shit is nasty. Like, you how how can you fuck oatmeal up? Like, I don't know if it's some chemicals in the bag or some shit. 
I don't know. <clears throat> but I'm stopping by um, McDonald's. I don't know if I'm going to get me a, um, a McGriddle or an oatmeal yet. Um, I know I'm not going to get nothing to drink because I have my cup full of water. I have water. I need to be drinking so I don't be dehydrated. I just clint that um, Stanley cup. Well, it's not a Stanley, but I just clint that cup. So I was trying to make sure it didn't taste like soap. But it didn't bubble up when I kept putting water in it. So. But I most definitely. Okay, I think it's my toothpaste throwing stuff off. But I had to brush my teeth. But y'all, my face actually ain't put no moisturizer on yet. But um, yeah, I'm going to McDonald's, so it's, that's gonna probably make me five minutes late or maybe four. It's, it's literally down the street, but it's day four. Today is midterm today. Um, I'm tired, but I'm glad tomorrow is Friday. Next week I'm gonna be early to school that Monday through Friday. But this week. It was like I either got there on the dot or like I know yesterday I got there like like two hours late just because I had a doctor's appointment and yeah 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 y'all probably be getting this video drop on Monday but I'm gonna talk to y'all later let me show y'all my little setup my lunchbox yeah Hey, my favorite. So basically, um, I'm not supposed to be recording, but I got a little content for you all for week one. Week two will be more in depth. I will be explaining everything um, clinical wise. But week one, we literally went over four chapters every day. Um, the end of the week, Thursday and Friday, that's when we started getting our hands on. We started um, shaving. We started making occupied beds and unoccupied beds um we started knowing how to use a bed pen we started doing vitals respirations and um body temperature um the heartbeat the pulse that's when we started getting into everything which was week one that was a thursday and friday so yeah sure y'all like comment and subscribe and thanks for watching because week one was really hard to sneak in content but i did a little something and i got up with y'all every morning and i told y'all how i felt and some things that we were going over and yeah long smooth strokes Good morning, my favorites. It's your fave, India, F-A-V-V, period, E-N-D-I-A. Um, it is day five. I don't think I got too much content of day four, which was yesterday, because um, we had a midterm, then we had a pop-up exam, like, then we have clinicals every day of um, getting the skills part. But it was a lot going on yesterday. I had... Two clients as soon as I got out of school. So I was rushing to get to that yesterday. Hold on. Today's just a chill day for me. I got on a long sleeve shirt with a jean jacket and some sweats and sweatpants. Um, I'm tired this morning. Ooh. Ooh, wee. I'm tired this morning. Um, I had a crazy dream that I'm not gonna speak on. But I'm just tired. Um, I'm definitely leaving early. I usually leave the house by eight, but I'm leaving at 747. And that's just so I can get breakfast. I don't know if I'm gonna get something like from McDonald's or McGriddle, or do I actually wanna go like flying biscuit? Get some cheese eggs, cheese grits, stuff like that. I'm not sure yet. I'm just tired. Ready to go to school and ready for this day to be over. But yeah, so now we just finna head to the car.